welcome back today I'm going to show you how to change your bushings out on the rear of a Traxxas Stampede this will work for the uh, Rustler pretty much the uh, same on any two-wheel drive RC stadium truck RC truck monster truck that's two-wheel drive it's all the same but what I'm going to show you is is just how to do one of the back ones so you got an idea how to do them now I went to my local hobby store and I picked up these uh, bearings and they're uh, 5 by 11 there's the Traxxas number for you I'll leave a link down below to Amazon in case you guys don't have a hobby store by you so you can just click the link and go to Amazon and pick them up but these are the bearings that you're going to need for the front and rear I'm just doing the rear on this one right now I'll leave a link down below if you want to know how to do the front ones because I had to do them on my Arma Grand and all the two-wheel drive monster trucks and stadium trucks like I said are the same so let's go ahead and get started First thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and we're going to take the wheel off here. Okay, now the nut's off. We'll just pull the wheel right off. And then what I always like doing is I like putting the wheel right there to hold the truck up. So I'm going to zoom in now a little bit better. And what we're going to do is now... We're going to take this nut off. The easiest thing I found is to take a flathead screwdriver, pop it behind it, and twist it. Pops that hex right off. And then we're going to take this pin out right here. Usually what I do is move it over like that and then grab a pair of pliers. Get a hold of it and pull it the rest of the way out. Now the next thing I do is this screw up here. I'm going to turn this here. Go ahead and take that screw out right there, and that'll let the spindle lay over, and the axle will pop right out. Sometimes this can be a pain to get out, sometimes it's easy. Okay. There we go, now we're out. Then just go ahead, flip the spindle over, and I just push on the stub shaft. Don't lose that o ring. We're going to have to put that or uh, spacer. We're going to have to put that back in and then just pop the axle off, set it to the side. I'm just going to grab my screw that fell out here and put it off to the side. So now what we got is our bushings in there. So now I'm going to move the camera over a little bit better. Now to get the bushings out, there's a front one and then back here, there's a rear one. What I do is I just take a Allen head, stick it through here at an angle, hit that back one, pop that one right out, and then go ahead and flip it around to this side, do the same thing, catch it on the lip of that one, pop it right out. So now, down here, we got our bushings. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get the bearings out, and I'll show you a quick comparison here. Of course the bushings are dirty i'll flip it over to the clean side and then there is a difference between a bushing and a roller bearing in case you guys have never seen it so let's go ahead and put it these in we'll flip that back over here just take your bearing pop it right back down in there everything's nice and flush now i gotta get the other one out of the bag here real quick and we got it flipped over we're just gonna pop that right in now we're going to flip this back down here, put our axle stub back in there, go ahead and wiggle it on through. Now we got it like that, we're going to grab our spacer here, go ahead and slide that back over. Now we're going to take our pin, put that back in the hole. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm not going to put the plastic hex back on. If you remember, I got these from MX fans on Amazon, and they were 7mm, and they were too wide for the granite, and they kept making the uh, hub nuts pop off. So I'm just going to use them on this because they will work. So we're going to slide that one onto here, and just pop that on there. Now I'm going to take my screw here, put that back up in here, pop that through, 
I'll grab that little washer. Like I said, you don't want to forget that. And then I'm just going to get it lined up here. Start threading it in by hand. That's the best way to do it because it's kind of tricky. Is to get it started by hand and then go to the screwdriver. Okay, now that we got that screwed back on, all we got to do, take our wheel, get that pop back on there. Of course, trying to find it through the camera is not easy. Get it all lined up here. There we go. Put our nut back on. And it's real easy to switch this over. Now a couple reasons why you would want to go to bearings or the bushings is you're going to get a little bit more speed out of it and you're going to get a little more battery life out of it. The reason why you're going to get a little more battery life is because it's going to spin freer. And that's all there is to getting rid of the bushings and going to the wheel bearings on the rear of a Traxxas Stampede. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below for you to go to Amazon to find those in case you ain't got a hobby store by you. Well, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.